Hey everybody, welcome back to another I'm Guessing Fish video. Today we are fishing off the groins at Brighton, north of Brisbane. The lure of choice is the Daiwa Double Clutch 95 in my favourite pattern, Ghost Perch. Similar pattern and colours of a prawn, the fish absolutely love it. Last night we had a big storm and this morning we have an incoming king tide. Hopefully these conditions will fire the fish up. So that's enough talk, let's get into it and get flicking. Oh shit, fish! First cast! Well, for this lure, I quickly changed. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. What do we have? Oh, lots of head shakes. It's a little flathead. Beach it. Nice! <laughs> Let's have a look at him. There we go everyone, that's the first fish and that's a nice little flathead on the Daiwa Double Clutch 95 in my favourite colour, Ghost Perch. This flathead is just shy of being legal, so we'll quickly send them back and catch them more. Let's do it. Alright, here you go. See ya. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's another fish. It's on today. <laughs> Surface. It's all splashing. Is it gone? Did it come off? Oh, it came off. Damn. Oh well, let's get it back in. Seems to be on today. Yes, whoa, this is a good one. Oh, cast straight after the one I lost. This one seems a little bit bigger. But yeah, indeed, it, it is firing today. I picked a really good day. It, it's a king tide today. Let's see if we can land this one. We'll start beaching it. It's going in the right direction, so that's good. Oh, let's see if this one stays on. Wonder what it is. It seems to be a little bit bigger. Yep, there it is. This one's a bit bigger. I think it's a dinner sized one. Start beaching it. Jeez, it's on today. Flathead for dinner. There it is. Just beach it. There you go, he's cooperating. And there we go. Nice. There we go, everyone. That's dinner sorted for tonight. That's a nice legal size flathead. 
on the Daiwa Double Clutch 95 and once again my favourite colour the Ghost Perch colour it looks like a prawn a nice dark brown and purple colour alright let's get them off the hooks and slay some more alright that flathead's off so let's see if we can get a back to back to back hit on a Daiwa Dub Clutch I'm pretty confident, but let's see. Cast it as far as I can. And once that's landed, some twitch, twitch, and pauses. So twitch, twitch, and pause. Twitch, twitch, and pause. Twitch, twitch, and pause. And twitch, twitch, and pause. And you just reel in the slack after each twitch, twitch and pause. So twitch, twitch and pause. And twitch, twitch and pause. Oh, no hit. Hopefully I haven't exhausted my luck. Yes, there we go. Oh, did I lose it? Yeah, I lost it. Damn. Yeah, so just keep thinning up your casters and fan your way back. Yes, another fish, it's on today. <laughs> nice. I think this one's just a little one. It's a nice day. The winds are low, the sun's out, the fish are on. Ooh. Oh, this one's not too bad. Well, any fish is good. All right, there it is. On the back treble, the Daiwa not Clutch 95 has three trebles. All three are deadly. And there we are. Quickly take off these hooks and send them back. Well, that ended up as a quick release, but he was small, so that's all right. So let's cast over here. Alright, so it's landed. Twitch, twitch and pause all the way back. So single twitches and double twitches. Keep repeating. Alright, I'm going to move to another groin. This groin seems to be fished out. So I'm going to move up one. But there's plenty of groins to choose from. And they all hold fish. So let's move to the next one. Alright, here we are. The next groin. Seems to be like a little deep hole here. So let's see if it's holding some fish. So I like casting up tide and bringing 
my lure back with the current. Oh, it doesn't help when you when your lure gets twisted up. There we go. Always check your line. That's all right. It might need changing soon. Cast as far as you can. Some nice twitches and pauses all the way back. Some long twitches. Sorry, some long pauses, I should say. Just keep varying your technique and see what, what's working on the day. So I casted a uh, perpin parallel to the shore. So I'm just fanning my casters out. So like five minutes um, each time. Maybe we'll try some quicker twitches as the current's quite strong here. No, oh, nothing. All right, I'll keep trying. Just fell off, that was huge. Oh man. Yes. There we go. Pretty good one. Wonder what it is. Back the drag a little bit. The key is to have loose drag, loose drag with hard body, so you don't pull the hooks out. This one's pretty good. There it is. It might be another legal. A little bit cranky. I would be too, to be honest. Uh, he's hooked well. I think three of the trebles, all three, have stuck. And there we go. Oop. Nice. There we go everyone, another legal flathead. It turned a little bit slow, however this guy came along and couldn't resist the ghost perch Daiwa Dub Clutch 95. Alright, I'm keen to head back in. So let's quickly take this guy off and get back out there. Oh, on the drop, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, still there, what the, what the, oh, I just threw it, this is really weird fish, this is such a weird fish, I keep 
thinking I'm losing it. Whoa. Jeez, that was so weird. I just threw it. And it grabbed it. So I don't think it's a flathead. It'd be weird if it was. Top water flathead. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, please stay on. I want to see what you are. All right, I see you later. Whoa. I think it's something silvery. I've caught trevally here before, so I wouldn't be surprised. Looks like it. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> he just want to, wants to swim in the current. Here we are. Nah, he's hooked well. He's not, he's not going anywhere. Alright, let's land him. There we are. There we go, everyone. Um, that's a nice little trevally. I think this is a GT. Just a baby one. And I've hooked him with three trebles, one in the eye and two in the body. So he was not going anywhere. But yeah, hopefully I haven't damaged his eye too much because I'm going to let him go. So let's quickly take out these trebles and send them off. So yeah, unfortunately the damage to the Trevally's eye was too much. But yeah, um, let's keep fishing. Oh, again! Jeez! I think this is another Trevally. Jeez! Drag! Oh! <laughs> wow, I think, yeah, I think this is enough, a bigger Trevally. It's taking quite a bit of drag. Luckily, the currents died down a little bit. So, I'm not fighting the current too much. Well, yeah, this guy's taking a lot of drag. So, we'll tighten up a fraction and work him, work him back. Oh, geez. I might have to run up to the other groin. No, I think, I, I think we're good. He's still a little bit further out, but if he moves closer to the shore, I'll run over to the other groin. But yeah, the current's working in our favour. It's not pushing him away. But yeah, this, this one's probably be a pretty big one. But there we go again, the Daiwa Dub Clutch in Ghost Perch. Slaying it today. I think this is another Trevally because of the same initial run. It's a pretty big one. But I think I'll let this guy go. And I hope the hooks are, are well in place so I can show you guys. But I just threw my lure in, an instant boof, just like before. It's quite far out still, 
probably 50 to 100 meters. Swimming to the left now. So let's work him a little bit harder, back to off. My hand's getting a little bit sore. <laughs> but it's great fun. Give me a workout. Come on. Not to that groin, please. He must be buggered now. I'm buggered too. But I really want to show you guys. I think this is a pretty big trevally. Yeah, he's coming in slowly. So the key tip for fishing this area is to bring a landing net. Because you can't beach it now because all the, the shore is all under. So bring a landing net so you have, so you can land these big fish like this one. So he's in a little bit in shore. Now he's swimming away from shore. Oh, it's a nice day. A little bit windy now because the wind's blowing against us, so a bit unfavorable. But because it's the King Tart, I couldn't miss this chance. Oh yeah, he's pretty close now, probably 10 meters. And I got some spec spectators. So let's see if we can grab it. Yeah, he's buggered. Oh, I see silver. It is a trevally. Oh, this might be PB actually. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that's pretty big. Nice. All right. Hope you guys can see it in case he comes out. Here it is. Not yet, nearly. There we go! Nice trevally. Alright, I'll t go to shore and give you a better look. There we go everyone, that's a nice trevally. Let's see how big he goes. So I got my ruler here. Put them to the edge. So he goes 50 to the tip. All right, well, I'm gonna send this guy off. All right. So he's, he was just hooked on the bottom. One treble out of the three. So all right, let's revive him and send him back. Here we go. Your lucky day, Mr. Cavalli. Good yet? Oh yeah, he's kicking. Okay, we're gonna send him off. Oh. Wait for the wave, give you guys a good shot. All right, I think it's time. There you go, buddy. Nice, he's swimming off good.
Happy days. All right, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. However, I had a fantastic session using the Daiwa Dub Clutch 95 in ghost perch color. Honestly, one of my favorite lures. So grab one and give it a go. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.